Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store. Thanks so much for coming back to check out another video. This one is about how you can get free shipping and packing materials for your eBay or other reselling business. Now, a lot of people know that they could get free shipping supplies through the United States Postal uh, Service. So, one way you do that is you could just go into the store and you could just pick these up right at the post office. These are priority mail, flat envelopes, flat rate envelopes. They have different sizes. They have a legal size. They have a regular size. You just go in, grab them, pick them up, keep them. And when you're ready, you just send it out to ship. Doesn't cost you anything. They'll also have in there small and medium size and larger boxes. This is an example of a smaller size box. This is what it looks like flat. And then when you assemble it, it looks like this and just put it together. So real easy to keep it like that. And sometimes they even have some small flat rate envelopes and you could pick these up as well. So they have different sizes. Not all of the items that are available are in the actual physical uh, location. You sometimes have to order them online. It's free to do that. Just go to United States Postal Service, for example. This is one of the most popular items to get. And this is the flat rate priority mail envelope. And it is the um, uh, bubble mailer. And so it's a little bit better sometimes than the cardboard one because it's a little bit more stretchable. So it uh, has some bubble wrap inside. Again, free to come in nice large uh, um, orders. You could get them in orders of 50 or 100 and, you know, uh, and you'll just have them ready for you. Just kind of stack them up and you just pull them when you need it. So a lot of people know about that and you could get that. But I'm gonna to talk to you about some other ways that you could get some free items for shipping that don't involve going to the United States Postal Service. And that it involves just picking up some regular boxes when you see them at the grocery store or you see them at any other type of store that you're at. Uh, it doesn't matter, it could be a Home Depot, it could be um, if you're, you know, at, at wherever you work, you might see some extra boxes. You know, if they're in good shape, if they're sturdy, if they're not ripped, pick them up and see if you can reuse them. And this is an example of what I'm talking about here. You could see this whole big collection of boxes that I have and all different sizes. So when I need them, they're available for me. So if I'm shipping out something relatively small, like a Funko Pop or something like that, I could just put it right in this box and easily ship it. Or if it's more of a medium size item, I've got this. this is something that I got from Amazon and you could easily just use this box. Or, you know, you could just see here, maybe it's something more of a rectangular shape. So you wanna have those types of boxes available for you. You got those ready. And as you can see here, what you do to store them is you could just, you know, put them inside other boxes. So here you can see we have some bigger boxes right there and some bigger boxes here. And then within the boxes, you just keep other boxes, just like that. So you could store lots of boxes that way by doing that. And as you'll see here, if you move over right here, you're gonna see that there's even some bigger and uh, longer boxes and wider boxes that could be used for you know different situations, bigger items that you might have. Now, I, these are ones that I have here. You can see here's a, a pretty large box right over here. And some of them, you could just keep, you know, if it gets too much, if you have too many boxes that are building up, all you do is you just flatten them out and then when you need them, you just assemble them like this and you're all set, just like that. So you can see here, I have a whole bunch of ones that I just keep flat like this. And with the Amazon boxes, I do have a video on how you can reuse Amazon boxes. If you don't want the outside Amazon tape and stuff to show, all you do is cut the box and reverse it. And uh, you'll see my video on that, it tells you how to do that. So this way the Amazon stuff isn't showing, although you could still ship it when it's showing, but uh, this way it'll look nice and clean for if you want to do it that way. Now, uh, you could see up here, I have other types of shipping supplies that I have, most of which is stuff that I've obtained for free. A lot of these items that you see here, like a lot of these small types of shipping uh, envelopes that you see here, and you can see there's all different sizes. These are things that I've just reused from Amazon, okay? And as long as they're in good shape, 
you can easily reuse them. Just peel the label off and you're all set. Uh, a lot of these things that you'll see here, like this whole entire big box that you see here. Okay, all these. I just picked these up for about a dollar at an estate sale this weekend. Okay, so, you know, these are things you could pick up. You know, these cost a lot of money if you were just buy them, you know, regular on Amazon or in the store. So, um, you know, this whole box here, you know, I didn't purchase that retail. I just got this at an estate sale for $2. It's filled with 110 by 13 envelopes. So there's that. Now, if you look over here, um, well, I'll just show you. These are just, you know, regular pieces of um, brown paper that you could just use to, to cut up and or, or crumple up like this and use it for, for packing if you want to. So a lot of these things, you know, like pieces of tissue paper like this, they'll come in boxes that come in the mail for you. And so, you know, instead of throwing them out, just save them, put them on the side, and you reuse them for shipping. This is something that came in a, in a Disney order that we had yesterday. So take it, save it, reuse it, recycle. Um, so, you know, you could just keep all that stuff in a nice box, extra bubble wrap, you know, same thing, little pieces. You know, you never know when they're going to come in useful. Um, now, you're usually not going to find a lot of um, free bubble wrap around, but you'll see find little pieces of it here and there. So bubble wrap is usually something that you have to purchase. But even there, you could be creative with how you can get it at a discount. So, for example, um, I know a lot of people like to purchase it in uh, places like uh, Costco, uh, or Sam's Club, but what I actually like to do is I have on uh, my Amazon account, uh, I get uh, uh, basically uh, bonus points or credits or like cashback bonus uh, through through the purchases that I make. And so I use my cashback bonus to the purchase big rolls of bubble wrap, like this one that has the smaller bubbles, or this one here, and this is the Duck brand bubble wrap that has the larger bubbles. So I'm not really spending money on it. I mean, technically I am because it's using, um, you know, I could use that cashback bonus for something else and I'm using it up for business purposes, but it doesn't really feel like at least that I'm spending money on it because, you know, it says $0 when I cash out. And so this is the brand I like to get. This is the Duck brand bubble wrap. You could find these in the stores but they run up and can be kind of expensive, you know, $20, $25, depending on what kind you get and how much of it you get. So use your cashback bonus. It's a great way to get these items and feel like it's for free. Um, another thing you could do, because sometimes you're gonna need air packing um, pillows for your shipping, is um, these are things that I actually, all of these that you see here, this whole entire amount that's coming out, all of this, came yesterday in a Disney order. So it was a big Disney box that came in. It was a, you know, uh, some sword from a Star Wars movie. It came in the mail and all these were in here. This fills up almost this entire bag. Just threw it all in there. Amazon likes to do that too. So what Amazon will do when they send you a big box, for example, when they send me this big box of bubble wrap, for some weird reason, when they send it to me, they include all of this paper in it, all this brown paper that I could just use, reuse, cut up, crumple up, whatever. Uh, sometimes I could just open it up like this, and if I'm shipping a, a book and I want to protect it, I could just wrap the book in it, take my scissor, cut it, and I've got some free book wrapping. So, you know, these are all types of ways that you could get shipping material for free. You know, just try to store it in an organized way. And, um, you know, it really, really will cut down on your expenses and you can make a, you know, a, a better profit in your business by cutting down on shipping and supply costs and packing costs. So uh, if you have other ideas on ways that you save on getting your shipping and packing supplies, please drop that down below in the comment section. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and make sure you pulverize that like button. Please, very important, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you can get notified when the newest videos are coming out. It's also a way for me to know that you are enjoying these videos and that you wanna see more of them. Please check out some of the other videos that I have up and come back and check for more. With that, have a nice day, have a nice week, 
and keep on reselling.